Restless. This is in the early 70s. There's a changing of the guard. It's the end of 23 years of Liberal Country Party government. There were no Australian movies being made, or virtually none. We came along and started making films at a time when, in a way, there was a need for it. This experiment's touched a nerve in the audience that somehow it related to the way they were thinking. It was a time when you felt you could change things, that really anything was possible, and particularly as a woman, that there wasn't anything you couldn't do. Sydney? Yeah, sure, mate. Put your gear in the boot. There was a lot of enthusiasm for our films, and that led to the establishment of a distribution service. That was the foundation of the co-op. You learnt that you could have any idea and express yourself through film. My mind was just blown. <laughs> Everything was under the microscope. Everything was being deconstructed. You know, these supposed free thinkers certainly didn't think freely about women. It caused a lot of controversy. Men were not allowed to attend. I said, this is a co-op. In a way, a schism developed within the co-op and, and the filmmaker cinema. Albie always said, don't make the co-op political. There was a political filmmakers, then the feminists came behind, and then it was a tidal wave that demolished the old guard. The co-op is in the red. From tomorrow afternoon, it's a collection of 370 films likely to be split up. Before the co-op, people just thought no one wants to see these films. And what the co-op really proved was that they did. The co-op became a family. The co-op was crucial in establishing the gay and lesbian film culture. Yes, he copies was there and different other films that was made by Aboriginal people. There was a certain moment when documentary was cool and very successful. All of a sudden we felt like we had a real credence in the kind of alternative film movement. We did feel like we were part of a, a worldwide movement of film co-operatives, of, of an independent cinema. I love literature, I love storytelling, I love actors, and I love filmmaking and music, and it all came together.